Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a three-phase commit test. Guys, I did not write the notes on this topic because I am not having that much clarity on this, guys. So, I have just took the screenshot of the textbook, I think, or from some PPT. Okay? Okay. So, these are the steps, the two steps, and this is the flow diagram, guys. Okay? I will be just explaining you the thing, but I am not that much clear with the concept, guys. If you are trying searching for some kind of detailed explanation, please search for some other video, guys. Okay? Okay. So, let us continue. Okay, three phase commit, right? Yes. So basically, there is a drawback which we noticed in two phase commit, right? Yes. So the drawback is that there, if the coordinator is down, so there is no chance, right? Yes. But even in three phase locking, then then they told that three phase locking is a solution for it. But even in three phase locking, we are having the coordinator rule only. There is nothing like union or any kind of things like people's rule or anything like that. Like everyone will decide or something like that. Again, here also we'll be using the coordinator concept only. Okay, so the states of the co coordinator and each participant satisfies the following two conditions. Okay, there is a no single state from which it is a possible to make a transition directly to either commit or to about. So basically, from any state, you cannot directly move to commit or about, guys. Okay, so that's my first condition, and there is no state in which it is not possible to make final decision. Okay, and from which a transaction to commit state. Okay, so basically, I think it is explaining about these flow graphs only. Okay, okay, okay. So I think even the flow charts are also almost the same, guys. So basically, before commit, we are we have added just one more facility, guys. That is nothing but pre-commit. Okay, so if everyone is ready for pre-commit, then we are doing commit. So I think that's the only difference, right? Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea guys because the flowchart is also the same. I, there is nothing to explain for me. Okay. So basically they will be doing uh, once uh, everyone says that uh, they are ready to commit. They will, we will be doing some pre-commit. After that pre-commit is successful then we will be doing the final commit. Right. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea. So in the next lecture we will be discussing about the recovery strategies guys. So basically we discussed this commit and all those things. Right. So if something goes wrong how you can recover. Are there any methods or are there any strategies which we can use? So that things we'll be discussing in our next lecture guys. Okay, so let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.